2. We're watching Scream 2. I'm Adam. I'm John. I'm Elijah. <laughs> what? Is that my, my girl? I was about to yes, say, sir. is this John's crush? <laughs> that freaking guy looks like an old Jer movie star. That's Jerry O'Connell. The little Who? fat kid from Stand By Me. Hmm. No, he's not. He's hey, hot. Tom Cruise, Top Gun, 1986. Derek, don't. Oh my god. <laughs> no, don't kill Randy. You can't kill Randy. Don't kill Randy. Wait here, the killer's just right over yeah. there. Alright. <laughs> no, Alright. He's like, wait here on this X. Alright, let me walk over here. Maybe they're the killers. <laughs> that was comedic, the way he said I like that he's wearing like a hoodie so like he's like trying to fit in mm -hmm. his college. Yeah, team. yeah, that's it's part of the the humor there. Hey said you okay. what are you talking about? First of all, forget Gil Withers. How about we become the killers? And then the killers won't kill us because we're the killers. We're talking prime time, Sid. You, me, and Diane Sawyer. I, I can't. This movie is really good at setting up potential people. It's, mm -hmm. I think I feel like this is better than the first one at setting yeah. up potential people. Because everybody's got like a good motivation. And I, I knew it wasn't going to be Randy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they killed, so they killed him off. I didn't, there, there was no attack. We were talking very heatedly. Miss Prescott and I have a very complicated past. Okay, you can definitely tell like he's on another level of acting. Uh, yeah, like, we, we, yeah. Against everybody else. Yeah. Even like he's good. Nev Campbell. He's like a theater actor too, I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, like he's acting mm -hmm. better than everybody. Even me. <sighs> I'd rather her die than Randy, honestly. Hey. Randy needs to be the protagonist. <laughs> Of his own story. He'll never be the leading man. And I really never will. Because he died. Are you the killer? <laughs> you were so instrumental in my freedom. You're not having character doubts now, are you? Mm. Now he looks suspicious. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's him. And it's... Uh, what's his name? Devin? Derek? Derek. Derek? Okay. Yeah, I think Leave Schreiber is really good in this. That's a good mm -hmm. level. We're going to take you somewhere safe, Sid. Yeah? Where's that? The White House. To hell. <laughs> the White House. <laughs> Ghostface in the White House. Spring 3. <laughs> Ghostface 2024. Ghostface goes to Washington. <laughs> no one's allowed out after dark, okay? I mean, haven't all the killings happened during the day? Mm -hmm. Good point. Not who? I don't know, Sid. That's also a great thing he, about that. At a glance, he keeps reminding me of Elijah Wood. Like, yeah, I, yeah, I could see that, yeah. Uh, a lot taller. That's what also is great about the Randy thing. It's like it happens in broad daylight, so it's another yeah. reason you're like not expecting it to happen. And you don't expect it to happen to that character. Yeah, that was a good twist. Because prior to this, I would have assumed that even like Gail or Dewey were more expendable than him. I honestly thought he was going to survive the movie. Yeah. You're right. I'm sorry. It's my... It was the wrong time. I'm sorry. It's definitely not her. <laughs> I don't know. Think it might be her? She's... Still, uh, uh -huh. I need you! No. No, you need to have your head examined. I think that was the actor's idea, because they, they said, like, they didn't know what to do with my character, and Wes Craven was like, we're trying to figure out what to do with Joel. What do you think we should do? He's like, I think I should just leave. And they were like... Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you mean leave? Like, what do you mean? He's like, I think I just like my character just leaves the movie. Like, yeah, like how would you leave? And he's like, cab. <laughs> they were like, all right, let's get a taxi. I will say, <laughs> I will say this. Oh, so it's not him. I didn't say that. <laughs> Doesn't mean he couldn't come back. That was true. Could I give you? I only have Dude, one. don't simp. <laughs> Idiot. 
Can't be too hard to hold a camera. Hey, wait a minute. Screw this girl. I guess keep your friends close, enemies closer. Yeah. School of film. That'd be sweet. <laughs> That'd be sweet. <laughs> It'd be sweet if there was a school of film out there. Nice. He's not a cop anymore. Uh, I doubt it. I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, he's just no, goofing off. No, yeah. he, he's, he's just he's, goofing off. No, he's just beige out to the max now. Do we beige out to the max? <laughs> beige out. Uh, insert the clip. Beige out to the max. <laughs> Why is he, look how he's dressed. He's like beige out to the max. <laughs> Shirt, coat, and what pants. What a hilarious. Beige out to the max. Out to the ma hashtag beige that on, out to the max. I want that, That's a I want that on a shirt. <laughs> Dewey oh, yeah, takes a holiday. He's just Dewey goofing around. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, he's just goofing around. Dewey takes a holiday. Just bump heads. Yeah. Nice. Now, you remember they were dating in real life. At this time? Yeah. Okay. They met on the first one. We're dating uh -huh. at this time. I can, I can feel the chemistry. That's why he's sweating. He's like, <laughs> oh my god, my girlfriend's behind me. And, <laughs> and I'm in a screen movie. <laughs> I'm goofing around. <laughs> Was he mic'd up? What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> that was good audio. Why are they smiling? Hey. Really? I, I don't trust her for a second, dude. She's the killer. I don't think she's the killer. I think she's a snake. I think she's a B word. <laughs> Oh, she's into it. Um, she was smiling. Um, but she's no. Smiling. What did you say? He said, oh, she's into it. She's smiling. She's smiling? She was. Imagine, like. It's a good thing she's not crying. I don't <laughs> Wait a second here. How'd that happen? No, I synced that up live somehow. Why can't she go with him? Uh, no, how would that happen? <laughs> it doesn't about make it. any sense. Don't worry about it. It's a pretty, it's a pr that was a pretty... I don't like that. Pretty what? A high-tech, uh... <laughs> thing for 1997? Ugh. Oh, look at him oh. just goofing around. He's gonna just... Oh, nice one. Well, he's not policing. <laughs> he's not policing. <laughs> yeah, he should be arrested, that killer, right now. What's going on? Yeah, this music. See, this music here is good. Yeah, when that you one, don't like the, the Dewey, Dewey theme. the Dewey theme was you don't like just that. like. Elijah's just like no, not what I would do. <laughs> I'm safe. I think here. Scream Two has some of the best tension moments of any of the uh, uh, Scream movies, and this last act. Okay, I was gonna say so far. I haven't really there's had any there's tension. one scene you're gonna totally agree with me on. This scene's cry. pretty good too. Yeah, I'm gonna cry. No, one scene's really good tension. Ooh, that's good. I love it. I love that they're not afraid to show the killer just mm -hmm. in, like I said in the last one, like in a voyeuristic way, just being mm -hmm. like, "Where's where, I'm trying to?" <laughs> his hands are up. Yeah. Where's, some, where's the person I'm trying to kill? Takes off the mask and's like, "Hey." What the f he scratches his head. No lock. Right? So <laughs> like, yes, says, that's why she said yeah, yeah, I like how oh. you're like, no lock. <laughs> Is that why? Yes. Imagine she says that in the movie. <laughs> no lock. <laughs> Looks at the camera. Yeah, no lock. No lock. This <laughs> moving. You, you, you hear that? Branding. <laughs> it's like a western. Yeah, you're, yeah, it is a western. It looks like he's holding a gun, but it's not in his mm. hand. Because of his nerve, he's going like. What? Yeah. Classic. What? Classic stepping in the pizza, dude. The killer got hungry. They killed Dewey. They up the stakes for this one, baby. Let's kill everybody we love. Well, I was just gonna cry. Unless Dewey's a killer and it's just cornstarch. Same they same thing they used in Carrie. Oh, that was timing. a that was a <laughs> badass move. Fine, you win. Bye. What are you gonna do? 
<laughs> she, she's like, we could do. <laughs> we could do me. Oh, this Ooh. guy. Oh, the killer. <laughs> he kind of looks like Lee Schreiber. Oh, this guy. That's the twist of the same person. <laughs> I'll tell you what, dude. There being two killers was a change to the game. Because yeah. you never would have thought that. And then mm-hmm. Scream 1 comes out. Well, because then when and the now sequels it's like, happen, you're like, is it two killers? Is it one killer? Is it? Yeah. You don't know. I mean, now it's like, oh, it's not him because he's not there. But no, it's like he could be a complicit right. in it. An accomplice. When this is all over, I'll still be here. Again, slightly... Slightly nice, but also slightly threatening. He's just been nothing but herring my bread. <laughs> what? What? Nothing what but mean? what? Herring my bread? Yeah. Which like a red herring? Oh, I think he's he said he's just been nothing but what? Uh. He has been nothing but a tease. He's so sexy. What if he was just like? I, I think 90s. I love you. He starts saying it again. Yeah. He's... <laughs> yeah. That's the killer. What? what is going on? Oh. <laughs> Give it a second. What is going on? Guys. Oh. Fuck off. Why are they there? I don't like that. <laughs> what is going on? They're the killers. He goes off in a different movie. That's like a frat comedy. The rest of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Animal House. <laughs> Animal House. <laughs> All right. So there has to be more than one killer. Does there? I think so. I think um, for the rest of like the series there has to be more than one killer like you mm, can't go back to just interesting. one interesting Ooh, that's pretty cool what was kind of funny trigger. about that that the stunt was supposed to go through the dummy's arm mm-hmm. the shoulder but it ended up going through the head instead that is really which is a great happy accident for like mm-hmm. a film it's like oh, much cooler to have it go through his head rather than his shoulder I like that shot of just the mask, kind of. Yeah, I think this is one of the best directed sequences Wes Craven's ever done. I think this is a really good setup. Oh, oh my god. Should she take off the mask? Is the killer faking? Are they awake? I think you should take off the mask and be like, let's fight. Do it. Let's do it. Wait, why she's? I thought she was going for the mask. Well, she was, but now the, she accidentally honked the horn. Now she's just trying to get out of the car. Well, why would she just like? Why she fear? Fear changes scared. your priorities. Yeah. There's a. This sequence is. Uh, I'm not gonna ask that. She's gonna get grabbed. The last second. No. He's dead. You're wrong. That's a cop car. Yeah. It looks like a normal undercover car. Undercover cop car. She can't. She can't open it. She has to go through the front too. Why doesn't she take the gun and kill the killer and be like, "Okay, now you can go. He's dead." If he's actually unconscious, can't you just like quietly choke him so that he's? he's he, he can do a lot of things. He might be able to wake up though. I don't know. Mm. It's also the thing is. I mean, ki- if you choke somebody- is the killer messing with them or is they actually knocked out? Right. That's the other thing. That's oh, the other brilliant mindset, thing like the using scene. the fact, like if you think yeah. he's in- unconscious, you could act yeah. like you're not going to kill him, yeah. so that he'll like play the game and let you right. give, give, give you a chance. No, she's going to die because she's expendable. We're all expendable, John. Wow. What a way to do that sequence and to show restraint and to not have the killer wake up and kill them. Yeah, that's a great yeah. sequence. That's pretty cool. Oh. Ah. Yep, I, I could just tell. 
The way that was shot, I'm not a fan, because that wide shot makes it obvious. Yeah. Cut to Derek. He's recording his single. I think I love you. I think so I love one of you. So the reaction to that, you're just like, oh, God. <laughs> just help it was like that. the pizza scene from The Other Me, except no pizza, and it just works. It's a little bit of a forced way to get her here, in my opinion. But yeah. I think they wanted to have the symmetry of having the opening of the scene be at a movie theater and then the ending, the climax, be at a Did stage just theater. Did he turn it on or he turn it off? Killer turned it off. It's a frat joke. Derek. Frat boys got him. Frat boys got me like, I'm frat forever now. Don't you know history repeats itself? Hmm. Sid. <gasps> that's like that's not even fair. Not too big of a surprise to me because he's gone in the movie for forty minutes. Yeah, I, I was gonna say like, yeah, he's. I don't like that. Like, yeah, it's not fair because he was he wasn't even like you in the movie saying? that much. Said so Derek disappeared on him. Yeah. I couldn't have possibly done this alone. Ooh, and she, he's he's using like what Ooh. I think against me. Sydney experiencing some deja vu? No. This is a really no. good way to do this. I am gonna fucking kill you! Fucking kill you! You are dead! Dead! Oh, the person I thought was the killer isn't the killer. <laughs> he was just a nice guy. Why did you act like you would have? You were such a. You had such. Oh my god, you were the worst. What's that? I fucking killed him. Yeah. Yeah. Sid's such a badass. <laughs> Sid. <laughs> Told you I had a partner, Sid. Surprise cameo just for you. Liv Schreiber. Oh, it's not. Not her. No. But listen. There's only an estimated 97 active serial killers in the country today. Okay, so uh, Nev never, Sid never saw her? No. Wait to the trial. It is gonna rock. Oh, Mickey. Why does he want a trial so bad? Because he just, he's just a crazy person. I don't like that. That yeah. makes sense. No. He's just a nutso who wants to kill people. But why would he want to be caught? Because it feels like his uh, uh, blaming of the movies thing will uh, get him basically notoriety. No, doesn't make any sense. Mickey was a good boy, but my God, that won't blame the movies motive. There we go. Did you see? knew it. You, uh, you baited me into it. Mother. You know what makes me sick? I'm sick to death of people saying that it's all the parents' fault. That it all starts with the family. Want to blame someone? Why don't you blame your mother? It's weird. It's kind of a reverse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people are like blame the movies, and people are like, no, blame the parents. I like that Sydney's mom is like a catalyst of everything that happened in the movies. What do you mean? Well, so yeah. the killing happened in the first movie because uh, she was sleeping around with Billy's dad. That's why he left. Oh and then yeah, yeah. She just said like, why don't you blame your mom if you want to blame anybody? She's the one who slept with my husband and broke up my family. So it's kind of cool. It's kind. Of, it's a family story. Yeah, it's about like family. Star Wars. It's about, it's about family. family. Well, Elijah was guessing that it was her. <laughs> it's like I, yeah. you're like, hmm, but you wouldn't have guessed that it was the mom. They don't mm -hmm. set you up for that at all. No, yeah, that's completely different. Yeah. She didn't. She definitely didn't die from those fucking styrofoam rocks. Like six stage left. <laughs> Do we? Oh. <laughs> He's like an action hero. Yeah. <laughs> Cut and meet Billy Loomis's mother. She's the killer. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, and I, did, I didn't know that. And who's that? The 
other killer, Mickey. Oh, he's gonna be like, I'm the third killer. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Come on, do some. Do some. Yeah. She, she looks crazy like Gollum or some shit. <laughs> oh, Gollum. No. I don't know. Consider it done. What was that? She's just like, yeah, I'll do the interview with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's Courtney Cox. Somebody get me out of here. Oh my God, Courtney Cox! I love you, friends. <laughs> God damn it! They always come back. What? What would? What she say before that? She said they always come back. Oh. God. John is uh, sniffing the desk. I love her. I love her. Like, I uh, want marry her. I will marry her. Hey, look. Mm -hmm. yeah, I told you he'd come back. He's the third killer. <laughs> you actually he stabs her. Maybe we could get the scoop like in the old days. <laughs> the old days? That was like yesterday, dude. <laughs> like, like the old day. Flashback to them in height. Like a little, like a uh, kindergarten. Hey, look. kindergarten. Look. No way. Am I gonna be right? Is he gonna just be paralyzed from like the waist down or whatever? So I got stabbed where he was stabbed last night. <laughs> but look at this for character development. <laughs> bye bye. Great character development there, Adam. Thank you. No, for... there. Courtney Cox, she goes with him this time. Uh, Instead of reporting on the story, she decides to stay with Dewey. A little symmetry to the first one. Yeah, I don't think so. It is! It's the exact same, like, shot and everything. Instead of reporting on the story, though, she decides to go be with Dewey. Talk to Cotton. He's the man you He's the real hero. He's the hero. Oh! Oh! Da 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 Shut up. Did she have any friends left? They're all dead. They all got killed or were a killer. <laughs> Who did? Sydney's for he said, Does she have any friends? Yeah, and I said, They all got stolen. killed. Directed by Wes Craven. That was uh, that was Scream 2? Yeah, that was Scream 2. What'd you think? Are you sure? Yeah. I wasn't too high on it. No? What'd you think? With this? Yeah. I think it was good. Yeah? yeah. I think it's a good sequel. It's fun. It's not as good as the first, but. It was fun. It was. It's fun. It's got some really. Uh, oh, Weinstein. Uh, it's got some really good. Uh, some really good sequences. Um, yeah. It's really fun. I think it's a fun it's sequel. Fun. Um, I think it's a fun twist. Um, well, I think the Timothy Oliphant one to me that was the first time I saw it was I, I guessed because he disappeared for a huge chunk but, of the movie. But, but see, but you might have forgotten about I, him. I so that kind of about him. yeah, mm -hmm. you definitely don't guess the the mom being the killer, especially mm -hmm. that it's the uh, you know even if you guessed it was that lady, you wouldn't have guessed it was the mom. There you go. So. Because, ah! fuck you. Um, um, you always oh, do a jump scare yeah. at the jump scare. Yeah. <laughs> Try to instinct. Uh, uh, hey, listen to the song. David Arquette. Listen to the song. Yeah. Yeah. The song. Um, Nev Campbell. Campbell. I'm just Jackie Campbell. Campbell. Um, hear the song. I think I love you. It's a song that he was singing at the cafeteria, but a ska version of it. <laughs> um, and, uh, ska R.I.P. Version. R.I.P. Yeah, R.I.P. No. Things. I don't believe him as the killer. Like, I, I watched him, and I watched the other dude. Yeah, but they—they he's, he's, they just look like they. That's the. Setup. I don't like that. That's the setup. I don't like that's that. The, that's 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 what you can't a, direct a, them to be something they're not. You just can. To trick it's a, you. Yep, no, Wait, that's that, exactly that, what a whodunit does. That, that's Dewey. That, you should The cop was Dewey's actual dad. Yeah. Huh. Mm -hmm. Yep. Wait, was he in the last movie? No. Okay. Um. But yeah, it's 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 a whodunit. No, they, that they're was subverting your expectations, John. You're right. I guess they can. They're do They're trying that. to make you think it's one person, not the other. I know, but they looked so evil. When, like, ever they That's talked the about minute things, it was like, why, why are you saying it like that? Well, you know. Because okay. it can be played I, both. I I, most of the lines can be played doubled yeah. ways where he's like, when this is over, 
and it makes sense that here, he seems threatening, but it also seems well, like he's being you... trying to be nice. I'll still be here. Yeah, I'll still be here. <laughs> When this is over, I'll still kill you. I mean, be here. <laughs> I definitely like this movie. I'm not like bashing on it. You just don't like it as much as the first. Not nearly not, as much as the first. It's not, I, don't I don't like it as much as the first. I had problems yeah. with it. I, I like that the main kill. I like the twist that it's revealed at the final moment that it is um, the mother of Billy. Mm-hmm. And That's a fun twist. Like you never knew it, but it's revealed. It's a fun twist. I did. I didn't like Timothy Oliphant being the killer, but mm-hmm. they got rid of that quick. Yeah, he's almost um, basically just a misdirect. Yeah, like, he's, he's a, really he's just the, not the main killer. She's the main killer. He, yeah, his she kills him right bad. away. His yeah. motivation is bad, and they made fun. And of she even it says like, like, "Yeah, it's a stupid like, motivation. Yeah. I just want yeah. revenge." And it's like, "Yeah, okay." Like, yeah. but yeah, that's a uh, scream. Scream two. Any final thoughts? Pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, yeah, I like, enjoyed it. I'm excited for scream three. I I will say I don't think. Three is as good as the first two. I, in my opinion, in terms of the ranking of the films, mm-hmm. they decline in quality each time. Though I will say most people think three is the worst and they like four more. I like three more than four. But I think my reasoning is the first three feels so synonymous to me because, I, one, I watched them all the first time in one night. And mm-hmm. four I saw years later in theaters. Wait, wait, you watched the first three all in one night? Yeah, yeah, really? yeah. When I was a kid with my sister, we rented the first three oh, on, on video and watched. How old were you? I was too young. I mean, I was probably like eight or something, <laughs> but... Yeah, she's a little bit older than me, so so uh, to me the first three, three feel like connected. The fourth mm-hmm. one I saw in theaters when it came out in like 2011. I was like 16, mm-hmm. and it feels so disconnected to me because it came out so much later. And mm-hmm. uh, but we'll get to those when we get to those. I think three is okay though. Um, it's got three's got some great things in it, mm-hmm. but overall it's kind of like, eh, but mm-hmm. still worth watching. This cool. is Master P, yeah. I think. Or, yeah. But yeah, thank you, um, fellas and gals out there for watching yeah. this uh, highlight video or listening to our commentary track. Hans um, Zimmer. Hans Zimmer, yep. Wow. Oh. That guy's prolific. Yes. If you want to, we have social media pages. If you want to follow us on Instagram, it's jesterhead.productions. We mm-hmm. post clips on there, and we let you know when a new video is out. We have a Facebook, Just Head Productions, I think. Uh, I think that's what it's called. I'll put, put it on there. And, um, yeah, so, again, if, I mean, you follow us, and thank you for watching and yeah. listening. Yeah. Ah! Uh, again. There you go. Twice. Two. Don't be too scared. Dose. Bye, fellas. Dementia Films. It's my kids. Bye.